All right, everybody. So you guys know I've got a 72 Dodge Charger that I would kind of say is a little overkill on just about every part that I could rebuild. Uh, has just been way over the top. So we had everything in the front suspension changed except for one component. We're going to talk about that today. But a little background real fast. A couple of weeks ago, out driving it late at night, couldn't see very well, hit something in the road, caused a suspension issue, found out that we popped a couple of um, threads in a tie rod causing the toe to end up going way out of whack and hence the search for better tie rod and sleeves began. So that's where we are today. So check out these incredible and impressive tie rod ends and links that we've got. All right, so we've got these new tie rod ends and links from Hopkins. Part number is 16366. So I've already opened these up, but I'm going to show you guys that they come with good instructions. The instructions don't technically cover the 72 Charger, 71 Chargers, but it's basically the same thing for a 70 Dodge Charger. I called them up, said, what's the difference? And they said, well, we weren't really sure if it would work, but give it a try, and that's where we're at right now. But these are impressive. Comes with all your hardware, got everything in here that matches up with the instructions. What's on the inside are these incredible tie rod ends, heim joints, with an incredible adjusting sleeve. I hope you guys can understand the difference between the original tie rods and these. So I'm going to take the original tie rods out and we'll set them on the table and get a look at them. So let's get to the installation and uh, see how this goes. Time for a time lapse. So if you'll notice, let me get in here real close. It's got the uh, heim joint here and it's got these real nice adapters that'll slide in and close up around that. That is going to be really nice. Uh, you talk about strong. Take it out all the flex and stuff out of the body. So, all right. So didn't take much to put it together. I'm gonna multiply that times two for the other one. This is what goes on to the steering link, and this will be the side that will go onto the spindle. So let's do this times two right fast. It looks pretty simple. And, and then jack the car up. Once we get the jar, car jacked up, we'll take off uh, the old tie rods, compare them, and put the new ones in. All right, guys, so I got the driver's side installed. I'm going to show you the difference between the two. I cannot say enough about these. These are freaking amazing. So let me show you the factory originals versus these new ones that I've just installed. And you make up your decision, but it, uh, by far it's going to control bump steer. It's going to control the toe. I mean, it's these are impressive. So uh, check this out. All right, guys. So this, I can shine them on here are the factory correct tie rod ends. You've got the tie rod end inner, the adjustment sleeve, and the outer. <clears throat> I think you can see right here, maybe I can show it well enough, see where it jumped a couple of threads out on me the other night when I hit a bump in the road. So this is the original design with Moog style tie rod ends and factory adjustment sleeve. And this, let me scroll over is the new Hopscus designed tie rod ends. Very impressive with the heim joints and the adjustment sleeve. Original. Serious upgrade. You guys make the decision which one is better.